People demand freedom of speech as a compensation for the freedom of thought which they seldom use. Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. The function of prayer is not to influence God, but rather to change the nature of the one who prays. Anxiety is the dizziness of freedom. People understand me so poorly that they don't even understand my complaint about them not understanding me. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. There are two ways to be fooled. One is to believe what isn't true. The other is to refuse to believe what is true. The most common form of despair is not being who you are. It is perfectly true, as philosophers say, that life must be understood backwards. But they forget the other proposition, that it must be lived forwards. The greatest hazard of all, losing oneself, can occur very quietly in the world, as if it were nothing at all. No other loss can occur so quietly. Any other loss, an arm, a leg, five dollars, a wife, etc., is sure to be noticed. I see it all perfectly. There are two possible situations. One can either do this or that. My honest opinion and my friendly advice is this. Do it or do not do it. You will regret both. The most painful state of being is remembering the future, particularly the one you'll never have. The Bible is very easy to understand. But we Christians are a bunch of scheming swindlers. We pretend to be unable to understand it because we know very well that the minute we understand, we are obliged to act accordingly. In addition to my other numerous acquaintances, I have one more intimate confidant. My depression is the most faithful mistress I have known. No wonder, then, that I return the love. A fire broke out backstage in a theater. The clown came out to warn the public. They thought it was a joke and applauded. He repeated it. The acclaim was even greater. I think that's just how the world will come to an end. To general applause from wits who believe it's a joke. Love is the expression of the one who loves, not of the one who is loved. Those who think they can love only the people they prefer do not love at all. Love discovers truths about individuals that others cannot see. What if everything in the world were a misunderstanding? What if laughter were really tears? To dare is to lose one's footing momentarily. Not to dare is to lose oneself. The tyrant dies and his rule is over. The martyr dies and his rule begins. To venture causes anxiety, but not to venture is to lose oneself. And to venture in the highest is precisely to be conscious of oneself. Face the facts of being what you are, for that is what changes what you are. God creates out of nothing. Wonderful, you say. Yes, to be sure. But he does what is still more wonderful. He makes saints out of sinners. To cheat oneself out of love is the most terrible deception. It is an eternal loss for which there is no reparation, either in time or in eternity. If anyone on the verge of action should judge himself according to the outcome, he would never begin. The proud person always wants to do the right thing, the great thing. But because he wants to do it in his own strength, he is fighting not with man, but with God. The highest and most beautiful things in life are not to be heard about, nor read about, nor seen, but, if one will, are to be lived. Many of us pursue pleasure with such breathless haste that we hurry past it. It is so hard to believe because it is so hard to obey. 
It is perhaps the misfortune of my life that I am interested in far too much, but not decisively in any one thing. All my interests are not subordinated in one but stand on an equal footing. Boredom is the root of all evil, the despairing refusal to be oneself. One must not think slightingly of the paradoxical, for the paradox is the source of the thinker's passion, and the thinker without a paradox is like a lover without feeling, a paltry mediocrity. There is nothing with which every man is so afraid as getting to know how enormously much he is capable of doing and becoming. How absurd men are! They never use the liberties they have, they demand those they do not have. They have freedom of thought, they demand freedom of speech. It is the duty of the human understanding to understand that there are things which it cannot understand. The self-assured believer is a greater sinner in the eyes of God than the troubled disbeliever. Listen to the cry of a woman in labor at the hour of giving birth. Look at the dying man's struggle at his last extremity, and then tell me whether something that begins and ends thus could be intended for enjoyment. I feel as if I were a piece in a game of chess, when my opponent says of it, that piece cannot be moved. The thing is to understand myself. The thing is to find a truth which is true for me, to find the idea for which I can live and die. That is what I now recognize as the most important thing. Why bother remembering a past that cannot be made into a present? Happiness is the greatest hiding place for despair. On the secretly blushing cheek is reflected the glow of the heart. It is very important in life to know when your cue comes. Take away paradox from the thinker, and you have a professor. I stick my finger into existence, and it smells of nothing. Therefore do not deceive yourself. Of all deceivers, fear most yourself. What looks like politics, and imagines itself to be political, will one day unmask itself as a religious movement. It belongs to the imperfection of everything human that man can only attain his desire by passing through its opposite. I am convinced that God is love. This thought has for me a primitive lyrical validity. When it is present to me, I am unspeakably blissful. When it is absent, I long for it more vehemently than does the lover for his object.